Hello everybody, Matt Hatter here from Scrub Club. Uh, I'm sure you know that, obviously. Uh, but anyway, I know you've all been wanting to know what this legacy announcement is. It's big. It's real big. And um, I've been toiling with it for about a year now. Uh, been running some tests, checking out the psychology of the whole Scrub Club operation, how it works. Um, how the artists work with each other, uh, with everyone else, with the supporters, of course. Um, came up with a really awesome plan. It's going to be a real big shocker to a lot of you, uh, especially those that have known me personally, uh, as Scroll Club has been my entire life for a long, long time. <laughs> but uh, uh, stick through this announcement uh, to find out exactly everything that I've been thinking up, uh, where we're going to be going within this next year, uh, and all that good stuff. Um, beautiful downtown Austin right now, which is really sweet. If it looks like I've been captured and I'm in an interrogation room, uh, just know that I'm using a room at work. <laughs> making this really informal. I wanted to make a, a really badass video for y'all, but I don't have enough time as it is. And uh, if I did something like that, then it would just take more time. So I got the uh, laptop on a recycle bin to give a better angle of my neck fat. And we're doing this really good. So <laughs> on a budget, right? Uh, anyway. Yeah, I've got the uh, announcement pulled up here. I cannot, would not be able to memorize this entire thing, so uh, please bear with me uh, if I'm reading the cue cards. But uh, here we go, y'all. <sighs> this is tough. <laughs> so here's the announcement. Uh, Scrub Club Records will officially drop the curtain forever on May 21st, 2015. Uh, this will be the ending chapter of our incredible 13-year adventure together in the name of change and the power of independent artistry. Yeah, <laughs> that's the tough part. You heard it right. Uh, May 21st, 2015, which will mark the exact 13 years that Scrub Club Records has been going. Um, that's when it's going to end. So... Uh, I know that may sound confusing, may be a big shock, but uh, like I said, please bear with me and uh, hear what I have to say on this. Because it's not just a closing, it's more of an evolving. Uh, we're, we've been changing the way we do things since the beginning, and I think that we've got a really viable future with the way that we're uh, about to release Scrub Club into legacy mode. So here's the end result. Uh, over time, Scrub Club's gradually transformed from a music label into an open entertainment collective. The next step in the evolutionary chains to become even more accessible and customizable. We'll release our structure as an open source project called Legacy that takes our best practices, knowledge, and tools of the trade to be used as a template for artists to create and help run future collectives of their own and to excel as independent musicians. Uh, Legacy is going to consist of two pieces. Number one, the Scrub Club framework that will help new collectives start from scratch or existing collectives to utilize the advantages that we discovered and used throughout the years. The framework will be presented in text and video format on the Scrub Club site and will be updated periodically with improvements, just like any other open source project, uh, as the future bears new tools and opportunities for musicians. Aside from instructions and guidelines, there will also be tips on how to succeed with recording, producing, websites, writing, social networks, performing, booking, SEO, merchandise, and more. Uh, just basically, if, if you've been running a collective or a label and uh, you want to improve, all the tools that we've used will be open to you. And if, it's, if it gets you, you know, better results, then kick ass. That's awesome. And if... Something like Scrub Club is something that you've always wanted to do, but never knew where to start. Um, then this is for you too, because you'll be able to use our framework and kick up your own uh, collective in no time. So that's really badass, and I'm really excited for that to be out there. <sighs> I love y'all. Uh, number two, the biggest piece, is the No Dough Pledge that all artists, no matter their medium, 
can use to give word to their service. Musicians, visual artists, writers, game designers, poets, software developers, and more can take this oath to honor and carry out the ethics and core beliefs of Scrub Club in order to use and display the NoDo logo. They will do this to signify that they have promised to give only the best to their supporters and are doing what they do primarily for the love they receive and not for the money. So everything that this little logo, of course this is the newer version, y'all remember the good old circular part. Um, I mean, that's what it's always stood for. That money isn't the important thing here. It's, you know, it's family, it's supporters, it's the experience, it's the love. And that's always been the focus since day one when I started Scope Club Records back in May of 2002. Um, after a good year of learning, <laughs> doing music for the first time. Uh, that's when I started it, May 21st, 2002. Um, ever since then, that is, that's what it's always been. Uh, and that logo has been in place in one way or the other since 2002. Now, of course, I made a change to the logo uh, early at the beginning of this year, uh, maybe a little bit before it. I've been, <laughs> even that process took a long time for me to adapt and change. Uh, it's real tough for me. But um, basically, you know, it's, it's a gear shape. And really, as we evolved, that's been more of what it is, is all the artists, all the listeners, everybody involved, uh, anybody that's helped us, all the donators, all the people that got in on our charities and helped us support that, uh, everybody that went to a show and, uh, you know, gave us a dap. Man, everybody, it's all a cog, every piece of the machine, and we can't survive without each other. And by God, man, I mean, Scrub Club has been excellent, but why not share that with the world? I mean, what we stand for, we're not the only ones out there. God damn it, we were the best, and we were the first, and we will continue to be as solo artists and groups. Uh, and we take this to heart. I mean, this is the biggest thing. And the current roster on the label right now, I mean, that just goes to show it. I mean, just down for life for this cause. But we're not the only ones out there. I mean, there's other people that honestly believe in the same, you know, the same beliefs that we have as far as doing it for the love, not for the money. Um, you know, but at the same time, staying self-sufficient. And uh, I think it's time now to give that to the world and uh, let them use this logo. It's not just ours. It's yours. So, so that's, uh, that's it. So you take that pledge. You know, hopefully you stick to it, and uh, I hope that the use of the, uh, the usage of legacy will increase over the years until the Scrub Club spirit becomes bigger than we could ever have imagined through the work of others, bettering themselves, bettering music together, and the NoDo logo becomes a symbol that's easily recognizable worldwide as a sign of trust and quality. That's what we want. So the aftermath of all of this craziness. Uh, we're talking about after the curtain drops and Legacy's released. Uh, we'll still offer our website in the current form as a perfect final archive of our history and music. All content added and posted to the site before May 21st, 2015 will be forever curated and maintained. And I will be keeping track of album downloads uh, in perpetuity. Did I just use perpetuity? I didn't even stumble. <laughs> Uh, by the time our collective departs, all of us here at Scrub Club will have gathered the tools and schools, <laughs> tools and schools, tools and skills that we need to venture onward as fully self-sufficient artists. Only time will tell us if we stay that way or start or join new collectives. Who knows? You know, but one way or another, we'll still be here for you. Uh, we'll still make amazing music, perform with intense energy, and honor the values that made us your brothers and sisters while we were banded together. Nothing can change any of that. So you're probably wondering <laughs> how the hell this ever started, right? Well, the reason is Scrub Club's accomplished everything it was created to do. Uh, it was to evolve and evaluate and elevate independent music past the shadow of the industry that we once knew. Uh, it was made to usher in an era of change and to be on the forefront of it, to create a model completely different from any other entity that equally represented not only the musicians, but also the supporters that kept them thriving. 
Uh, the obvious signs of independent music prevailing, digital downloads taking over, and self-sufficient bands without the need of money-hungry labels or promoters wasn't just a theory I came back in uh, in 2001 when I very first started performing and making music, before Scrub Club was even even a thing. Um, you know, that it's become reality in the last decade, and it continues down the same open path. So the future that I predicted then is here, right now. Um, it's the perfect time to pass on what we've learned and the changes we've made. Uh, we must continue to lift up independent music as high as we can boost it. Um, the power has really, really shifted away from labels and, and back into independent hands. And, I mean, time is right now to strike. And uh, by lending the legacy out, I'm hoping that that can strengthen the bonds um, of all the collectives out there and uh, just really get this started. So here are the final goals that I have. There's a few of them. These are things that I want to accomplish this year uh, for you guys, uh, for all of us uh, still in the collective. These are the final goals. Hopefully we can hit them together. So these are six things I would love to accomplish before we release the legacy. Number one, a dedication album made from our peers covering their favorite Scarp Club artist tracks as well as our current roster covering each other's songs. Um, I know a lot of you that are our biggest listeners uh, might have just busted a nut. And trust me, I just did too because that is a badass idea and I really hope that album comes out. And yo, uh, while we're on that too, uh, Too Mellow especially has been spearheading the project and Untested Methods. Uh, over time of uh, really getting like a posse album together. Um, just all of us collaborating with each other, just making something massive. And that's not on this list because that's something that we've been wanting to do for forever, but uh, definitely expect that too. Uh, we're excited for that. Number two, a gigantic celebration and concert, including any current and previous musicians, models, and members of the label that will make the previous or make the previously awesome soul amplifying SCR 60K party look like a week indoors with the flu. An experience that is a tribute to our supporters and to the future of our upcoming solo efforts. If anybody was at SCR 60K, that was a killer, killer weekend. Had a whole bunch of people come in from out of state. We did some performing. We mostly hung out and just loved up on each other. It was a wonderful thing. And even that was based on SCR 10K, which is one of the first like get together parties we had, and that would have been back in, damn, 2004 possibly, and that was to celebrate 10,000 visits to the site. I don't have to tell you that we surpassed that every single day. <laughs> so we have come a long way since that. The 10K was 10,000 visits to the site. Um, SCR 60K was when we hit 60,000 album downloads. And I don't know if you've been keeping track, but let's see how fast I can connect here. But, you know, we hit 60,000 album downloads, which I thought was just amazing. I mean, who'd have thought we'd ever gotten that far? I'm checking right now, as of last month, 282,317 album downloads and that's all because of y'all so thank you for that but I want to blow that party out of the water I want to have the ultimate climax if you will what else am I gonna say right it's the climax it's the end we need to make it big so be on the lookout for info on that uh, I want to do a final merch drive with the rarest of loot literally the last scrub club merchandise ever produced uh, produced I'm not nervous or, uh, you know, stressed out at all. <laughs> yeah, so that will be crazy as well. I'm hoping to get uh, the gear logo uh, on some necklaces, uh, get like a final run of some uh, merchandise and just completely sell all of it. Empty warehouse, if you will. And uh, by God, I promise I will be better at sending shit through the mail this time, okay? I promise. <laughs> so, yeah, final merch drive. Um, of course, we'll have, we always have prizes and we always have uh, rewards. 
Uh, and this will be the biggest that we can do for y'all. So, number four, all who have reached knighthood status by the end of May 2015 will receive an equal share of what's left in our donation pool before the central pots closed for good. Consider it a last thanks and send off from you directly to our hardest working musicians for their outstanding service, hard work, virality, or a combination of these three to achieve their 10,000 plus total album downloads. So that's really important. Um, you know, we had knighthood uh, within the label, uh, just meaning that you have hit over 10,000 album downloads. Because holy shit, right? That is that is an incredible uh, achievement. And um, just to give you an idea, and I keep not having time, or I keep forgetting to announce it, but one thing you should know is that the soup or villains are actually knighthood status right now. Uh, I never got to get that announcement out, and it's been kind of sitting under the pile of leaves for a bit. And uh, this will be the biggest video that we've ever done to date, and a lot of people are going to see it. So might as well be here so that everybody knows. But Super Villains passed that 10,000 downloads, and they are part of the knighthood uh, here at Scrub Club. Um, yeah, other people? I'm just double-checking right now. Kabuto. <laughs> Of course, uh, he's actually in his sixth knighthood level uh, with 61,774 downloads. Holy balls. That's Kabuto for you, though. He was, uh, he was the second knight ever, ever crowned, I believe, uh, on the label. Just been kicking ass since he came in. Uh, me, myself, knighthood status, got 25,234 album downloads right now um let's see like i said super villains they're actually in the eleven thousand range right now eleven thousand three hundred and eighty uh so that's real dope and then uh of course two mellow who came in just crushing out of the gate when he released chrono jigga the first time our site has ever shut down due to too much traffic <laughs> thank you matt Oh, my brother. He is 44,363 uh, in right now. So those are our nights right now. Uh, if this were to end tomorrow, whatever's in the donation pool would be split evenly uh, between all the nights. Hopefully by the end of the year, that pot is, uh, you know, nice enough to send everybody off with uh, a good dinner or some equipment or, you know, a trip to play a really awesome show, whatever. But at the end of all of this, um, whatever's left in the donation pool is going to be split up even between them. That means if your favorite artist on our collective uh, has not reached knighthood status, you got to lift them up. Uh, DJ Robo Rob, shit, he's right on the cliff. He's at 8,268. He's really, really getting there. Um, King Phoenix. <laughs> King Phoenix, Queen Venus, King Phoenix. <laughs> that's uh, that's the uh, proposed uh, drag name, uh, Queen Penis. Um, I would be Tandy Sensation, so I'm not out of that game. Um, <laughs> King Phoenix is at six thousand. Um, you know, just multiple people can get this going. We just got to lift them up. Untested methods, seven thousand. So. If you want uh, your brothers and sisters to be put into the knighthood status, that's all you got to do is get them download numbers up. And then by the end of all of this, they'll take one final uh, paycheck into the sunset, you know, for all their hard work. So I think that's, uh, I think that's important. Uh, number five, I want all of our artists to make one last wish. Some of them have gotten them into me already. Uh, a location we'd only be able to perform in in our dreams, a piece of equipment that's premium in our genre, a party we would die to attend. Uh, I'll work with our listeners and try to make uh, the best of that, you know, make each wish chum come true before the year's up. Uh, that, of course, may tie into the knighthood shares as well. Uh, we'll see. But we're all going to have one final wish. Uh, if someone out there has the ability to make it happen, awesome. If you know somebody, awesome too. Uh, I imagine there'll be some pretty interesting wishes, though. I know me personally, I'd love to perform in Japan, South Korea, 
uh, something like that, it, it just blew my mind. So, especially Japan, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> number six. Uh, one other thing I've been toying with is making a documentary that covers our entire Scrub Club history and has interviews and performance footage from all of us, uh, spots from our supporters, and highlights from the party mentioned uh, earlier. Uh, and I think we'd probably have a Kickstarter-ish campaign for it. Not Kickstarter because they suck, but, you know, uh, one of those other things that's like Kickstarter. But those are the six things um, that I really want to accomplish before this year is out. And, uh, yeah. So, still with me? <laughs> I'm about out of water here. I don't know how much longer I'll last. Uh, what happens now leading up to the end? Well, don't think of this simply as a cool-down period before a shutdown. Uh, I really want that to be apparent. Uh, I want this to be our biggest push ever for Scrub Club and all the artists that help make it what it is today. Uh, this is when we show exactly what we're capable of. We've got to prove ourselves. We work harder than ever before because we've got one true deadline to meet together now. Ah, not only do we continue on the way we always have, but we fight harder. We level up more. We reach critical mass. Uh, the current roster is the core group I believe in the most, and you should too. Uh, we all are 100% scrub club or no do soldiers. Um, even though there's some new faces around, uh, they've already showed their drive and worth, or I've known them for years and what they're capable of. Uh, I know we'll all take this up in the final year with nothing but fierce pride uh, for the art that we do and for the love of you guys. Um, how will you become a part of our history, our legacy? How will you contribute in the next 358 days to end this 13-year experience with a bang? Uh, we need you now, quite literally, more than ever. So, uh, yeah, think about that. Um, if, if Scrub Club's what you love, if you've loved it for years, or if you're brand new to the family, you know this is a big deal. And we all support each other, and that's, that's how we've got here, and that's what's going to propel the no dough and the Scrub Club framework into the future for people to use. And, and if it makes them better, then... You know, I'm all for that, uh, but we really need your help in this last year. Uh, we're not just being like, hey, you know, this is it. Um, in May, we're, we're shutting down, whatever, and then slack off until then. And we're going to work our asses off for you to make this just the most memorable dent in music history that we can. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's the announcement. Um in the best way that I could do it. Um, my brain is just shot. This is this is so major. This is this is literally like cutting off one of my arms. <laughs> Even though it's for the better, um, it's just rough. Thirteen years is a long time. Um, so I hope it's taken care of in the future. I know me personally. Um, this is, uh, this is good for me. Let's, let's chop off the announcement for now. Uh, and I'll just at least talk, uh, for myself in this whole thing. Um, I've devoted a lot of time to this, a lot of time. Um, and the people closest to me know just how much I've sacrificed, uh, including my family, um, with what I do. And a part of that is all of my projects, uh, I tend to bury them. It's, it's my fault. It's no one else's fault, but I tend to bury my own projects um, and push them back constantly because I'm I'm always wanting to help uh, the other artists on Scrub Club and uh, just do as much as I can. And uh, between that and and communicating with everybody coming in, just hundreds and hundreds of messages and conversations, um, I just I have no time. And Scrub Club has grown out of the ability for one person to run it years ago. Um, it's, it's a constant struggle. Uh, it's nothing that I would pass on to anyone at this point. Uh, not necessarily just because I couldn't trust somebody with something so big. Uh, or if I did, I wouldn't want to do it to them. Because it is too much damn work. Um, 
you know, it's, I love it. It's something I love. And, and it's been a daily part of my life for years and years. But I just, it's, it's too big. It's gotten too big for one person. And I've, I've tried to have some help in and it just didn't work out. Um, I tried to divvy it up and it's just, like I said, I wouldn't want anybody to have to go through what I do. Um, even though I love doing it. Um, but one thing that's cool, Mad Hatter wise, about this, uh, about the Legacy Project, it's not only being able to see my original dream just spread out there for, for people to better, um, but I'm actually going to be able to, for the first time since about 2003 was the last time that I was the only person on the label. Because uh, <laughs> for the first couple of years, it was just me. But um, it will be the first time since 2003 that I can honestly focus on my own projects by myself and not have to do anything else. And I am so excited for that. And uh, for those of you that dig my stuff um, personally, it's it's about time, right? <laughs> I need to finish. I need to finish so many things. I need to finish Burst Nexus. I need to finish Time Paradox. I need to finish Eight Bit Bullshit Two. I need to finish John Henry. I need to finish Word of Mouth. Um, this is all stuff that I just keep pushing and pushing and pushing back uh, because I don't have the time for it. Um, so starting uh, during this year period, I'm going to be focusing more on doing my stuff, um, uh, you know, I'm not, not giving out uh, on the other artists on the label or anything like that. I'm still going to be doing as much work as I can for them, but I'm going to be transitioning back into that role where I'm doing my own stuff again uh, just for myself, and I'm super excited about that because I've got a lot of I got a lot of art, I got a lot of emotions, I got a lot of craziness in here that I need to get out. And it's been stuck for a long damn time. Oh, so I'm excited. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. Water to look like I'm not getting choked up. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm excited for that. Personally, I'm excited for Scrub Club. I'm excited for all the other artists on the label. I'm excited for all the listeners and supporters out there because the freshest music, the best experiences, the best artwork, just everything that's cool about Scrub Club is going to be just turned up to 11 for the rest of this year. And I'm super, super excited for that. Um, I'm going to need a lot of hugs. At uh, Orlando Nerd Fest. <laughs> so uh, when you see us scrubs roll into Florida in a couple months, um, power us up with that love because we're gonna need it. That's gonna be the uh, it's gonna be the beginning stretch of our adventure. Um, thanks, Chozo, for having us down. By the way, because obviously after this announcement, it's gonna be one of the final shows where a lot of us are together. Um, under that Scrub Club umbrella. So, party with us, right? <laughs> um, damn, I don't know what else to say. Um, I think I'm going to do a live q and I'll probably move that to tomorrow, uh, just so you have a chance to come up with questions if you have them. Uh, whether you're a listener, whether you're a fellow artist, um, or just somebody that has been, uh, you know, in the know with Scrub Club for a long time, Send me your questions um, beforehand on Facebook, email, not text because I still don't have a damn phone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think tomorrow right after midnight, tomorrow is tomorrow's Wednesday. Okay, so yeah, tomorrow after midnight, I'll come back here to the interrogation room, Matrix style, and uh, I'll answer as many questions as you have. Um, but yeah. I uh, just want to let you all know that I love you very much. Thank you for everything over the years. Um, it's going to be 13 full years of love, and that's hard to pack into one soul. Um, I feel it every day, 
And I truly think that this is the best next evolution that we can take. And uh, all the other artists are on board with it. Um, you know, beforehand, uh, wasn't sure if, uh, if everybody was going to be on board. Um, there's a couple artists that, uh, you know, that were, uh, were told that it probably wasn't the, the best fit for the label to have them on there. Uh, you know, that was a couple of months ago. That was super tough to do too, uh, because a lot of them were like family. It just wasn't a perfect fit. And, uh, now I think you can understand why. Uh, I made that choice, um, and they're all excellent. They're great people, great artists. It just um, it wasn't the perfect fit for for what I've got planned um, for this year. So now you know that uh, I've actually been kind of putting putting people through uh, tests, watching their behavior, and, and stuff like that on the label because. That's one thing I owe to you is to make sure um, that in this last most important year that we're only promoting the artists that are truly down for the cause, um, for Scrub Club, uh, for the future of Scrub Club and the Nodo, um, and that are the most hungry. Um, you know, and uh, some of the people that are not on the label anymore. Uh, in recent times, it's uh, it's not that they didn't show enough drive or anything like that. It's just that the core members right now on the label are always in communication, um, always on points, always really hungry to do what's next. And and uh, some of the other people, they just they had other stuff going on in their lives that was uh, either big or more important, and that's totally cool. Um, but yeah. This core group that's here right now, um, we're going to run it till the uh, proverbial wheels fall off, or the wings fall off, or the helicopter blades fall off, or the ice skates fall off, or the other shitty ideas I'm having in my head right now fall off. <laughs> um, yeah, so you've got us. I uh, hope this clears up a lot of stuff um, that's happened in the last year, and uh, yeah. Like I said, I love y'all. Scroll Club forever. We're going about to take that to the next level and uh, give it to the world. So, uh, yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching this announcement. And uh, take it easy.